A sixth-generation fighter is a concept for a class of jet fighter aircraft that is more advanced than the fifth-generation jet fighters already in service and development. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you Russia $200 billion in sixth generation fighter jet is finally ready for action. Russia's Mikoyan MiG-41 sixth generation fighter, which will replace the Mikoyan MiG-31, has made headlines again. According to reports, Russia is pushing the boundaries of aviation engineering by accelerating the development of the MiG-41. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. The plane will not only survey the upper atmosphere, but will also go into lower space. It is based on the MiG-31M Air Dominance Fighter, which is already active. The MiG-31 Foxhound reached a maximum speed of 2.83 Mach. It had a large armament of weaponry and guns, including six R-37 long-range missiles. MiG-41 will incorporate all of the advantages of the MiG-31 fighter interceptor plane. The MiG-41 would need to be a more powerful weapon platform. Weapons would need to be carried internally. According to Russians, it will introduce features hitherto unknown to the aviation sector. Really, it's time to grasp the characteristics and development status of the next weapon in the Soviet Russian arsenal. MiG-41 Development Status The MiG-41 PTP is a developing Russian program to create a stealth supersonic interceptor come heavy fighter aircraft to replace the Mikoyan MiG-31 in the Russian aerospace forces by the mid-2030s. The exact platform designation will change around the time it goes into operation. It will incorporate sixth-generation technology and design. The design of the PAK DPE was supposedly completed around the end of 2019. Ilya Tarasenko, the general director of the MiG Corporation and the head of the Sukhoi company, stated in a July 2020 interview that the PAK DP will be developed as an evolution of the MiG-31 design. Tarasenko further stated that it would be a novel platform design and construction capable of Mach 4 or higher, equipped with an anti-missile laser and capable of operating at very high altitudes and even in near space, flying between the stratopause and the tropopause. The aircraft is also expected to incorporate concepts and technologies from the MiG-31M, including an upgraded Zaslan M radar. It could use a version of the is July 30 engines that are currently being developed for the Su-57. MTCC Soyuz revealed some information on its website regarding the already developed R579-300 engine, which might be a match for the Su-57, among other things. The MiG-41's main problem appears to be the continuous development of the pulse detonation engine that will power the aircraft, particularly the management of the engine's wear and tear given the extremely dynamic load it would handle. The PKP will utilize stealth technologies, Russia is developing an electromagnetic pulse rifle, which might revolutionize aerial warfare. This novel energy cannon could broaden the spectrum of possible targets. Russia plans to equip MiG-41s with electromagnetic cannons by 2025. A less powerful variant of the EMP rifle may be an effective deterrent to unmanned aerial vehicles. The MiG-41 may possibly be outfitted with R-37 missiles. It could be converted into an unmanned variant later. Mikoyan's owner, Rostec Corporation, revealed in January 2021 that the peak DP was entering the development phase. The fact that the first flight is scheduled for 2025 indicates that a significant amount of work has already been completed. The design should have been frozen and metal cutting must have been proceeding for some time. The aircraft's powering and initial engine runs should have been complete. If the timelines are plausible, taxi testing must begin in 2024. Because of the great level of secrecy surrounding Russian aircraft, predicting their current status is difficult. If the MiG-41 successfully completes its first flight in 2025, it is likely to be fully operational by 2030. The originally scheduled service launch in 2028 seemed unlikely. Analysts currently estimate the early 2030s. Aircraft concept and operational targets. As an interceptor, its primary role was rumored to be to counter future reconnaissance aircraft being developed by the US and China. 
According to some Russian media accounts, the Puck DP was designed to intercept hypersonic missiles by carrying a versatile long-range interceptor missile system that would deploy numerous sub-missiles to maximize the likelihood of intercepting hypersonic weapons. Surface strike weapons could also be stored in the dispenser. The Puck DP is also designed to carry anti-satellite lasers and missiles. Challenges in Design and Program Management Many Western aviation professionals say that, while the details are unclear, the Russians appear to be proposing technology concepts that do not exist. The most advanced concept right now is the U.S. Air Force's next-generation air dominance fighter. China is still talking about fifth-generation fighters. Both the United States and China have allocated significantly more cash for their future programs. Russia is still battling to complete development and acquire a sufficient number of Su-57 felons. The Su-75 checkmate is still in its early phases. Both programs are searching for overseas partners to boost their numbers, raise funding, and reduce costs. It is unclear whether Russia is using information warfare against the MiG-41 or has something else planned. Russia is still embroiled in Ukraine and facing the West's economic might, and it is running low on funds. The Russian military-industrial base is also extremely stressed. Will the MiG-41 receive the needed support? At near hypersonic speeds, increased skin heat due to air friction necessitates maintaining adequate stealth without degrading of the coating, which is also a scientific problem. The heat from the exhaust may also raise the radar signature. Maintenance and repair of stealth coatings are extremely expensive, and even the United States struggles with them. It would also be difficult to construct a canopy for hypersonic flight while maintaining stealth. Achieving high speeds usually entails sacrificing maneuverability, but that is appropriate for the role. The MiG-41's reliance on a pulse detonation engine poses a considerable technical problem. While it offers enormous power, it is a notoriously complicated domain it will not be easy to construct an adequate ramjet. Such high speeds need a lot of gasoline, which restricts range and endurance. To extend range, more fuel would need to be carried, resulting in an increase in size and weight. In most missions, however, aerial refueling will be required. To fire at high max numbers, weapons must be carefully constructed. The Lockheed CR-71 Blackbird is a retired long-range, high-altitude strategic reconnaissance aircraft capable of Mach 3 or higher. It was created in the 1960s with a small radar cross-section, especially for reconnaissance. The CR-71 was retired by the United States Air Force in 1989, primarily for political reasons. Few were temporarily reactivated in the 1990s before being retired again in 1998. The SR-71 flew at great speeds and altitudes, Mach 3.2 and 85,000 feet, 26,000 meters, enabling it to outrun or completely evade adversaries. If a surface-to-air missile launch was detected, the typical evasive action was to accelerate and overtake the missile. Because of the lengthy turnaround time necessary after mission recovery, each SR-71 could only fly once per week on average. A total of 32 aircraft were produced, with 12 destroyed in accidents and none lost to enemy action. Its successor, the Lockheed Martin SAR-72, will be a hypersonic UA designed for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance and reconnaissance. The corporation made a private proposal in 2013. In 2018, firm leaders stated that the SR-72 test vehicle might fly in 2025 and enter service in the 2030s. Both Moscow and Beijing have been modernizing their aviation capabilities in order to compete with America's next-generation systems. Russia's pursuit of aerial domination is a daring and ambitious initiative. The MiG-41 is designed to meet all of the requirements of a 21st-century fighter, including multispectral stealth, ultra-high speed, a turbo ramjet engine, the ability to fire and shoot down hypersonic weapons, and lasers, flying to near space heights to destroy satellites, and being highly equipped. A ramjet or turbo ramjet engine capable of exceeding Mach 4.3 would make it the world's fastest combat aircraft. High-performance aircraft will need better materials and aerodynamics. The electromagnetic pulse energy gun may be the most disruptive piece in Russia's aerial arsenal remains a mystery. 
the development of a dependable pulse detonation engine would give Russia a substantial advantage in the ongoing battle for aerial supremacy. Can Russia run three advanced aircraft projects without the necessary resources and partners, as it did with the F-35? Where's the money? The anticipated timelines for the MiG-41 are already close. Technologies have yet to be tested. Program visibility is poor, and Ukraine has slowed things down. The program expects a level of technological improvement that is not present. So far, only the artist's rendering has been made accessible. That's all for today's video. According to one analyst, MiG-41 is still more vaporware than reality. Some describe it as a Russian fantasy. Perhaps they are being overly severe. Waiting and watching is the greatest strategy. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.